Passing the AWS DevOps professional certification is a significant achievement and I'm here to share how I achieved the score of 907 out of 1000 in order to help you succeed. In this video, I'll walk you through the resources, study strategies and tips that I followed, all laid out step by step. We'll also explore the exam structure and discuss how to tackle this certification efficiently. So without further delay, let's get into it. First things first, make sure you understand the exam structure. The AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Exam is one of the most challenging certifications offered by AWS. It tests your expertise in continuous delivery, process automation, monitoring, logging, and security. The exam costs 300 US dollars, includes 75 questions, and consists of multiple choice and multiple answer questions. To understand what you're up against, start with the official AWS exam guide and content outline, which break down the key domains and the percentage each of them weighs. Next thing you want to pay attention to is gathering the right resources. The resources you choose can make or break your preparation, and I'll be taking you through some that I found most useful. First is Stefan Marek's DevOps professional course on Udemy. Stefan's course is thorough and includes practical examples that make complex concepts easier to understand. His explanations of AWS services and their integrations were particularly helpful in making me scale through the exam successfully. Next is the tutorials, dojos, cheat sheets, and mock exams. These were invaluable for quick revisions and testing my knowledge. The cheat sheets are concise and the mock exams closely mimic the actual exam format, helping me get accustomed to the type of questions asked. In addition, I highly recommend the official AWS documentation and white papers. These documents provide in-depth information on AWS services and best practices. They are highly essential for understanding the final details and recommended practices for each service. Lastly, a cloud guru now acquired by Pluralsight is a very fantastic platform that offers structured learning paths and hands-on labs. It is great for reinforcing concepts with practical exercises. Also, don't forget to check out AWS exam readiness training sessions, which provides insights into exam topics and sample questions. Another thing that worked for me is creating a study plan. As obvious as it might sound, a study plan is crucial for staying organized and ensuring you cover all the necessary topics and here's how I structured mine. I decided to allocate 12 weeks of preparation towards the exam. In the first four weeks, I focused on continuous delivery and infrastructure as code. I used Stephen Marek's course to understand the basics and started to build small projects on AWS. For the next four weeks, I moved on to monitoring and logging and security and governance. This is where I read AWS white papers and I also used tutorial dojos cheat sheets for quick revisions. I also spent time setting up CloudWatch and AWS config to get hands-on experience with monitoring and logging. In the final four weeks, I concentrated on high availability and elasticity. During this period, I took multiple mock exams from tutorial dojos and Wiz Labs. Next is hands-on practice. I'm literally screaming for this one, but of course I don't want to freak you out yet. But really, hands-on practice cannot be overemphasized. It is super essential for passing this exam. AWS is a very practical platform, and the more you work with its services, the better. I spent significant time working with EC2s, Lambdas, ECS, and Code Deploy. For instance, I created a CI CD pipeline using Code Pipeline and Code Deploy, which helped me understand deployment automation in a practical manner. Another project I worked on involved setting up a monitoring system with CloudWatch and SNS to receive alerts. This hands on experience not only builds my confidence but also helped me to understand the real-world applications of AWS services. You also want to take mock exams. Mock exams are a critical part of your preparation as they help you to get familiar with the exam format 
and they also improve your time management skills. I use practice tests from Tutorials Dojo and Wiz Labs as these closely resemble the actual exam and they are really great for identifying your weak areas. After each test, I reviewed the questions I got wrong and made sure to understand why. AWS also offers free official practice question sets through the AWS Skill Builder. These sets include 20 sample questions that give you a good overview of the exam's format and style. Although they are not part of the exam scheduling process, you can access them by signing up on the AWS Skill Builder and navigating to the appropriate section under AWS Training. These practice questions are available in multiple languages and they are a really great way to get a feel for the actual exam. All that being said, before we wrap up, here are a few tips that can make a huge difference in your preparation journey. First, hands-on practice is irreplaceable. Use the AWS free tier to gain as much practical experience as possible. This will help you understand how services interact in real-world scenarios. Time management is very crucial, so stick to your study schedule and allocate specific times for each section of your study material. Consistency is key. So try to study a little every day instead of cramming at the last minute. Also make sure to join online forums and communities. Engaging with others can provide new insights and keep you motivated. You can learn a lot from the experiences and advice of those who have already taken the exam. Do well to make full use of all available resources. The AWS Skill Builder practice questions, Stephen Marek's course, Tutorials Dojo, and the official AWS documentations are all valuable tools in your preparation process. Lastly, ensure you get a good night's sleep before the exam. Stay calm, read each question carefully, and use the review feature wisely to revisit challenging questions. In conclusion, passing the AWS DevOps professional certification is a challenging but highly rewarding journey. With the right resources, a solid study plan, and consistent effort, you can definitely achieve this milestone. Remember, it's not just about passing the exam, but mastering skills that will propel your career forward. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech insights and tips. And best of luck on your certification journey. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.